gobierno aquí dice que no hay problemas aquí en el estado de Chiapas, que está en paz todo, pero es mentira. In the last decades of the 20th century, the world's economic map was redrawn. Factories were closed in the north and sweatshops opened in the south. Peasants were forced off their land, family farms replaced by agricultural companies, small businesses wiped out by giant chain stores. Towns and regions died away as waves of economic refugees came looking for work in the capitals of economic power. A few companies grew very rich, and most of us grew poor. In North America, politicians from Canada, the United States, and Mexico signed a treaty to make these economic changes permanent. This treaty was called NAFTA, and it became law on January 1st, 1994. Hermanos y hermanas, nosotros somos indígenas y representamos al Ejército Zapatista de Liberación Nacional que se alzó en armas en contra del supremo gobierno y que mantiene en alto sus banderas de democracia, libertad y justicia para todos los mexicanos. Nosotros somos guerreros, somos los últimos de una generación de hombres y mujeres cuya encomienda colectiva ha sido el ser guardián y corazón de nuestros pueblos. Una de las cosas que implicaría o que significaría sería la, la pérdida de la soberanía de las naciones y también una violación a los derechos humanos, el derecho a la salud, el derecho a la educación, los derechos colectivos, los derechos laborales y dejar que el llamado libre mercado de las grandes empresas transnacionales se encarguen de repartir la riqueza, que va a llevar más bien a un empobrecimiento y a un control de la economía en muy pocas manos de las grandes empresas transnacionales. Capital and jobs can move and shift so fast. A town can be booming one day and tomorrow it's closed. You know, working people are very vulnerable to the whims of the corporate giants. There's no money for relocation, there's no money for retraining. Their benefits are tied into their workplace so their health care is affected. Every fiber of their family is affected by the way these trade agreements are. We have experienced the shit from NAFTA. April 20th is the day that we start taking our nations back, our country back. <laughs>
We walked, and in every place the war looked different. In some places it killed with bullets and bombs, and others with hunger and neglect. In some places it worked through global institutions and agencies, and others through local thugs and profiteers. Corporate globalization, neoliberalism, empire. The logic that this violence served was called different things in different places, but everywhere it was the same. It was fragmentation, isolation, fear. It was the rule of money and the market extending itself over every inch of the planet and every aspect of our lives. We walked, and days came that ripped these streets open. Days when the war was not a story they told us. Days when the war was here, under our feet. This is a new kind of uh, different war. kind of conflict. Totally different, different from any other. This is a conflict without battlefields or beaches. This is civilizations. Fighting. Either you are with us, and axis of evil, or you are with the, the entire world. Is the battlefield. Every tool of intelligence, every instrument of law, every financial influence, and every necessary weapon of war. And make no distinctions among military and civilian. This is this 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 crusade. Uh, it's going to take a while. Occupation, curfew, settlement, administrative detention, preemptive strike, terrorist infrastructure, attrition, transfer. Their war destroys language, speaks genocide with the words of a quiet technician. Occupation means that you cannot trust the open sky or any open street beneath the gaze of their sniper towers. It means that you cannot trust the future or have faith that the past will always be there. Occupation means you live out your life under military rule and the constant threat of death. A quick death from a sniper's bullet or a rocket attack from an F-16. A crushing, suffocating death beneath the rubble of a bulldozed building. A slow, bleeding death in an ambulance held for hours at a checkpoint. A dark death on the torture tables of an Israeli prison a random arbitrary death as their tanks spray a crowd with machine gun fire a cold calculated death from malnutrition and curable diseases a thousand small deaths as you watch your family die around you occupation means that every day you die and the world watches in silence as if your death were nothing as if it were a stone falling to the earth or water falling over water. And if you face all of this death and indifference and keep your humanity and your love and your dignity and refuse to surrender to their terror and despair, then you know something of the courage that is Palestine. <laughs> 